Hi, I'm Margret. In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about modifying fields and reference types. So let's have a look at um, our situation here. We have a class called person. A person has a last name, a first name and an address. So address is still a field of person. A person has one address and here we see how our address looks like. That's another class, another ref reference type. Address has street, zip, city, and state. So we have in both cases a parameterized constructor, some getters and setters, and a two-string method. The relationship between those two classes is called an association. This is a has a relationship. It means a person has an address. So at this point I want to go to the IDE and show you those two classes here in Eclipse. My person, first last name, address, parameterized constructor. I have a getter only for the names because I don't allow to change these, but I also provide a setter for my address. So all the getters and setters are the default implementation from Eclipse, no special input validation there. I also have a two-string method that prints the first and last name and the address, however it is specified in my address class. Here I have street, zip, city, state, a parameterized constructor to initialize all my fields, the default getters and setters, and a two-string method that prints my street, my city, a comma, and then the state and the zip code. Let's have a look in the main method. So here in my person app, I have my main, and I started by creating an address. I just called it my address, Main Street 123, Greenville, Utah. And I want to have a brief look at the memory. How would that look in the memory? I have a stack. Now I have one local variable. It's called my address. Because it's a reference type, it contains a reference to my address. And my address has been initialized with Main Street, and uh, the zip code 84731, Greenville, and Utah. Notice Main Street, Greenville, Utah, those are strings, reference types. So once again, we have references for our fields. Now 84731, that's an integer. It's a value type, and so my number is stored right directly in the memory for my field. Now let's go back to Eclipse. I'm going to create a person object. I say person, my person is a new person, and I give it a name, maybe Tara, and uh, maybe Johnson, and uh, she has an address. Um, I just pass my address as her address. So she lives in Main Street 123, Greenville, Utah. Again, we have a look at the memory. We can see there's a second local variable, my person. It's of type person, which is a reference type, so includes a reference to an object on the heap. And my object points to Tara, first name, Johnson, last name, and to the very same address object that my address has referenced. It includes the very same identical object because we just passed the reference as an argument to our constructor. Now I'm going to do the following. I'm going to modify the local variable, my address, and we're going to look how it affects my person. And then I'm going to modify the field address of my person, and we're going to look how it affects my address. So here, let's start. I'm going to print modify local variable my address, just for clarity. Then we set the city to Moab, the zip code to 84532, and we're going to print the address and also my person, just to see how it affects the person. When I run my program, I can see that my address has been updated to Moab, 84532, and the same thing happened to Tara Johnson. She now lives in Moab, 84532. Now let's have a look at the memory. How could it happen? My local variable points to the object. We updated the object. And because this one and same object is shared 
by the local variable and the field, the field all of a sudden got a new value as a side effect. So my person is changed. Let's go back to Eclipse. And here in Eclipse, we are going to look at modifying the field. And what I do is the following. I'm not going to create a new address and set it to my field, but I'm accessing my field with my getter. And once I have access to my field, I selectively only change the city and the zip code. So I don't exchange the whole address. I just modify the existing address of the field address in my person. And I do the same thing for the zip code. And then I'm going to print my person and also, once again, my address. And when I run the program, and I'm going to make the output a little bit bigger this time, I can see that Tara Johnson lives now in Traper, 84020, but also my address has been changed. My address is now in Draper 84020. Let's have a look at the memory. We accessed the person, and from the person we access the field. This here is the field address, a reference to the address. We modified the field value, which is our address, to Draper 84020, and because it's a shared object. As a side effect, my local variable, my address, was modified. Such side effects can easily cause confusion. They can lead to bugs that are hard to find and they can threaten the data integrity. One way to avoid such side effects and data integrity issues is to keep the field types immutable. So here string and string is immutable already address is not immutable. If I check here my address, I can see I have a number of setters. If I get rid of my setters, then my address can no longer be changed in a different class. There's one more right here. And if I go back to my main method, I will see a number of wiggly lines because I can no longer use setters. If I would like to change Moab and the zip code, I would have to uh, create a new address. And I would have to instantiate it with the same street and Utah, but my new zip code, which was 84532, and with the city Moab. Same is true here. If I no, don't have any setters anymore and I want to change the field value of my person. I can say my person set address and I can provide a new address right here, new address. And my new address can be whatever it used to be. However, the city name is Traper and the zip code in our case is 84020. Let's see how this affects, semicolon is missing, let's see how this affects the other object. And you can see after my first update, the address was Main Street Moab, but Tara Johnson was still in Greenville. After my second update, Tara Johnson was in Draper but my address was still more.